Million here with you. Your ministry provocateur, firebrand, iconoclast, and resident heretic here at Dominion Fire. I'm here with my lovely wife. Say hi. That's nice. We're on Harris down at the Strip in Las Vegas, which we never ever go to. And why, you ask? Him. Brian. Hi, everyone out Miss, there. Mr. Fire over here. <laughs> yeah. Fire ministry guy. He was on the podcast, so that's where you'll know him from. He came into town, and we are ready to tear into this. I'm low carbing it, as is she. Here's diet soda. Don't judge me. He gets to eat the good stuff. Yeah. So, how's tripping so far? Been awesome. Been you, can, you can eat. I'll just keep vlogging. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's been good. Been working. A lot of, uh, a lot of standing. A lot of talking. A lot of, a lot of shaking right. hands. I gotta get on the vlog with him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good so far. Yeah. yeah. So we're hanging out and we're just, uh, I said, just visiting up a little bit and we're talking and uh, how's God been in your life, man? God has been good. God's been giving me a lot of. Uh, good opportunities a lot of open doors and i feel like there's a big idea coming for next year for me for my family for a group that we're working with there in the atlanta area so i'm excited about it i'm excited too because same thing with us god's been giving me so much work i can't keep up and we have a new project we're working on on our business side which i think is going to be huge for us too so awesome it's uh proverbs 16 3 you uh, present your plan to god and he will bless it amen amen cool. you got it on. What you got going on? We're working on our Ecuador mission trip. That's right. We're we are in 2016 at the Coming end. Up soon. It's less than a year away now. Yeah. yeah. Ecuador. This guy just got back from Peru not too long ago. Peru. That's right. Right. So he was missionary down there, That's and right. now he's back here. Now we are getting ready to go to Ecuador. Ecuador. And then after that, Argentina. Wow. My, my people in 2017. I hope. That's what I'm working on. So. Just wanted to check in with you guys, say hello, just let you know that I love this guy, he's hanging out with us, and uh, I'll tag him in the vlog. I will. So, hey, check, what? I said, good to hear. I'll make sure he knows about it. <laughs> so anyway, so, we're gonna have a little fellowship now. We're gonna go. So dinner's over. We had a phenomenal conversation with Brian, and uh, I was just, food was alright. Salad was actually not bad. And that's not something you hear me say often. Here, saved your life, because there's a car coming. Um, you know, it's interesting, I was just telling Lynn, it's funny that we actually, it's nice to have a conversation with somebody who gets it, especially stuff in ministry that you're, you know, like, we're both trained under uh, Curry Blake at JGLM, and it's nice to talk to someone who understands it, who gets it, that you don't have to have arguments with, it's really nice, and it's one of those conversations that could literally go on all day, and uh, Lynn over here has got to get to work in the morning, as do I, and uh, Oh, that conversation could have gone on all night if we would have let it. But we were talking a lot about letting your shield of faith down, which was kind of huge because don't let your shield, don't let your shield of faith down, of course. Don't let well, it. about letting it, you know, when it happens. And not to take, it was actually, it was really, um, it awesome. was, what you said was don't take an account, an account, an attack personally. It's an attack on the kingdom and you're just part of the kingdom. Yeah, there's uh, something I'll go into in later detail in the future, but basically about don't take ownership of things. If uh, you go for a healing or you go for something or dealing with a person's situation and you feel like you failed, don't claim ownership of failing because even there's times where people fail and blessings and salvations and repentance happen out of it. So don't treat it as a pass or fail, as like strike or home run. It just is. Just go out and do it because the more that you start claiming ownership of failures, which we've all done and you know we get hammered for, well, the more you start letting your shield of faith down, the more the enemy starts talking, and the more he gets to pound you when you're not watching. So uh, keep shield of faith up. Don't take ownership. Just go do your thing and make it a lifestyle, not an event. And uh, it was nice to see Brian. So I'm going to wrap it up. We're going home, going to bed, because it's an early day tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, DominionFire.com is the website. You know the rest. See you guys.